If you're looking for the cheapest coins in Madden 23, head over to AOEAH.com. They are fast and reliable. And make sure to use code WOLF for 3% off. Link is in the description. Now, if you're newer to Madden, I got a video for you guys. I, I keep getting asked this in the comment section. How do you do these adjustments? How do you press? How do you set the spy? How do you set the contains? Today, I'm going to show you all three. Okay, I'm going to show you guys how to man press and then back off the press. I'm going to show you guys how to put a QB spy out there, and I'm going to show you guys the contains and how significant they are in your defensive schemes. Before we get into it, make sure you drop a like, subscribe. If you want the full dollar three two defensive scheme, it's in the membership section for a fraction of the price or anywhere you're going to find it anywhere any place that has to deal with madden i promise you guys wild trill week you get that as well for the same little price as the defense is together you know what i mean so you get the wild trill week the full detailed scheme which people are just going crazy about they say it works really well for them so you know i, I know what i put out and what i use and if i i know it works i know it's going to work for you guys you just have to take the time to learn it okay let's talk about empty base flex the defense i'm just putting a, a five wide out there for you guys uh to show you guys exactly what's going on now let's just go ahead and pick verticals right here verticals and then we'll go ahead and pick dollar cover two man now let's assume you see this press formation let's just press for real okay let's press let's have everybody in a press formation and the problem is let's just say you're playing defense you're new to the game bro who the hell is the fast receiver on this team this is five wide matter of fact let me just go ahead and respot this ball all right Let's respot the ball. Let's go ahead and keep ourselves in a press formation. Now, what's important, and I, I need to point this out, is in your defensive playbook, you need to recognize what the defensive play names are. Okay, so right here to my right, cover one robber press. That means these guys are gonna come out in a pressed formation already against whoever uh, the offense is against. So look, these guys are already pressed. Now, the problem is if you don't know the depth chart and you're running a cover one press, you don't have two D paths out there. Meaning whoever the fastest wide receiver on his team is, and you don't know who that is because you don't know the depth chart, you're gonna get cooked over the top more times than not. Now, assuming that you're making, you don't know the proper defense adjustments. If you don't know what shading over the top is, his fast wide receiver is gonna cook you over the top. So let's just see. And how do you find out, man, who the hell is the fastest Who's the fastest? He's got Jones that's a halfback, Watkins, Cobb, Lazard, Tanya. Matter of fact, he don't even have his fastest wide receiver out there, but you could come to the depth chart, go to coaching, go to depth chart, and then go to his wide receivers, uh, wide receivers on his team. Now we know that Watkins is 91 speed, 90, bro. You could actually just shade over the top on these guys and they won't cook you. However, he did not put Watson in the lineup or he didn't put Dobbs in the lineup. He's got two really good wide receivers that he's not using. Why isn't he using them? So you know on defense if you see that and this is why they pop up the names right you see that that means okay i can play around with this okay i can actually just press shade over the top and then i can shade inside outside user the three red cook like this or user the or, or the blue and let's just put everybody on streaks and let's see who gets over the top snapping the ball in the cover one press and, and let's just see who gets on top nobody so in defense that adjustment with shading over the top is gonna help you from getting burned because he's not using his best players. And that goes for you too. Don't just, don't think I'm talking about someone else. I'm talking about you. You gotta use, you gotta know your depth chart. You gotta know your lineup. Everybody's getting clamped up right here because we shade over the top. Now, how do you shade over the top? Okay, so we're in a cover one robber press, right? We can press wire triangle, right stick up for over the top. So if you don't wanna get beat, but you're in a press, you can press wire triangle, selecting right stick for over the top, and your defensive backs will actually play the back uh, over the top of the receivers. However, if you go underneath, you are asking to get cooked. Okay, so wire triangle, right stick down for underneath. This is for whenever they need short yard situations, drags. But if someone's smart enough, right, they're going to try to send everybody over your head. And if you do underneath, this is what starts to happen. Okay, so important to know the difference between that and that. So let's just say. Let's go ahead and make that adjustment where we actually put these wide receivers in the lineup okay we want to go ahead on the outsides we want to put oh these are halfbacks okay let's go to the right side we want to go ahead and put watson and who was the other guy we had the other guy here somewhere it was watson and dabs okay Dobbs. i would have never remembered that so right there on that side watson on this side it's going to be dabs now 
we have fast wide receivers. Now, you could come out and cover one Robert Press and shade over the top and see what that does for you. However, I wouldn't recommend it against players like Marquise Brown and these people, okay? Let's just... Where's he at? Watson's on the outside. Let's just slap this guy like this. So let's just see. Over the top coverage against these guys. Throw it over the top. Can his speed take off? So you see the significance. He actually got it. You see what I'm saying? So let's say you don't want that to happen, even in a cover one Robert Press. And you know his depth chart, and he only has one wide receiver that's over 93 speed. So I recommend doing it for people that are over 93 speed and you know the depth chart. So right here on your right side, you're in cover press right here. But you want everybody else pressed, but you don't want that guy pressed on the right side. So we can make that manual adjustment. We're going to press wire triangle. Okay. Then we're going to press A or X, depending on what platform you are for individual. It's on the left side of that box. Then we're going to take B, which is uh, Watson. Okay. We're going to press B or whatever button it is on your controller. And then right stick up for back off. Okay. Watch as I press the right stick up. You see it on the left side. Press it up. He's going to back off him. Boom. Okay. And you can do the same thing for this guy. Okay. So both sides, you can back off both of them. And now you can press shade over the top, shade inside. And then if they try to take inside routes, your guy should actually try to bump them. But let's just see what happens now. We put them both on streaks. Boom. Let's put A on a streak and RB on a slant. That way the it looks like this. Okay. Let's try to go over the top of their heads again. Now look at the steps I have on this guy. Now I'm in control of the defensive play. You see what I'm saying? The significance of putting that guy there. Now let's say the QB, let's say you do this with your user, okay? Let's just say uh, you press, you crash down because he's got a hat back. You don't know if he's running. We want to back off the, these two guys, okay? They back off, all right? Because you don't want to get cooked over the top. You don't know who's who, right? But you know it's one of the fast wide receivers, so you can back off, leave everybody else in a press formation. But now you're pressing your line down like this, and what he does is he just comes over here and he rolls out and now he's getting mad yards. This is where the QB spy comes into effect, okay? So let's just say I wanna run that. Uh, I back off people, right? And then over here, I'm gonna put this guy in what they call a spy, okay? So A or X, right stick to the left for QB spy. You'll see this little uh, this little circle that goes around him and I can use it the three red cook. I can shade inside, I can pass commit. Now with the Defense the way it is. We're assuming we're not in a five wide. We're actually with the running back because he may run inside zone up the middle on you, right? However, but let's just say I try to do this now. I got a spy that's following me. Now you can send the spy by clicking the right stick in and he'll go straight for the quarterback. Now my recommendation to you is once he breaks, let's say you set a QB spy, which is this guy. Let's say you set a QB spy. Once the quarterback gets to the outside of that, that offensive line, you click the right stick in. So let me get off him. I think that's important. Okay. I'm going to try to do this with two controllers. Let's just say I'm doing this. I'm rolling out. Click the right stick in and send them. You click the right stick in on your controller and send them. That guy got to me because I wasn't able to. Let me just do this fast. Because in a real game setting, someone's going to be belling to the outside on you. Boom. Okay. Let me get off him. There. Okay. Boom. We're going to roll out. Right stick in, send the spy. That guy actually got off his block, bro. The D lineman, the pass rush is insane this year. I'm telling you guys. Okay, let's say we don't want to use the spy, but we want to keep him from rolling out that way. It's simple. We spread the D line. Sometimes they spread, sometimes they don't. And then we QB contain RB or R1. And this game of Madden, I don't know since the patch though. Uh, typically, your user, you want to be the guy that's blessing. So, by the way, make sure your fastest user. Go to your depth chart, see who's in this position and see who's faster than him and then replace him with the faster guy. However, with this game this year, the contains, you get a boost, you get a speed bonus. I mean, a, a, a what they call a block shed bonus just because the quarterback moves in your direction. Let me show you what I mean. If you put the QB contains out there and the way you do that is RB or R1 twice, right? If you do that and this guy tries to roll out, bro, it's, it's, it's night, night, son night night you see what i'm saying like he's you get that boost that bonus for him to bro he didn't even have to go that far in this in this madden he don't even have to go that far so let's just spread the line qb contain uh we can back off everybody i hate when it gets hung up like this it's insane when it gets hung up like this for real like this okay we want to use this guy let's go ahead and put these guys, since we're shading over the top, we can put these guys into cloud flats, which I'll show you guys in another video if you want to learn 
now and I shade inside. So now my outsides are covered. I shaded inside for inside routes. I got contains out there in case he wants to roll out in a really good three man pass rush. Always use your contains and you're gonna see that this guy cannot get away to the outside. And a lot of people, especially the little Timmies, they wanna run outside as much as they can. So I hope this shed some light on you guys to help you. Remember to use your contains religiously. Probably most important adjustment you can make in this game is to use these guys. User, the guy that's on, a, if you're running a cover one Robert Press, identifying the fast wide receivers right here, using these guys how you want. You can even take a cover one Robert Press and make it a cover two with deep halves. You could do that. You could put two uh, two hook curls if you want. Uh, you Whatever you want to do. <laughs> you, you know, you, you got the advantage right here in the dollar scheme. Uh, I have the full breakdown in the membership section. So I go over the zones and stuff like that for you guys just to blend it all in together. And like I said, this is a very good, if I try to go right, I have to sit in the pocket. I cannot do nothing. And it's just nuts. Pause. Make sure you drop a like. Love you guys, man. Peace.